On live television, a news anchor gloats about a politician's death and wishes more of the victim's colleagues face the same fate. Following the assassination of Lebanese anti-Syrian parliamentarian Walid Aidu, a female anchor's tongue slipped with hateful comments as she chatted with a colleague without knowing their mics were on. I have a Hajj. Hello, Hajj. My condolences. Her colleague mumbles something that sounds like my condolences. The anchor woman then says, So why did it take them so long to kill him? <laughs> she cracks up laughing and her colleague joins in. Then the anchor says in reference to anti-Syrian parliament member Ahmed Fatfat, Fatfat should be next. I'm counting them down. The colleague says, we don't glee in someone else's misfortune, to which she responds, It's not glee, but we've had enough of them. The anchor woman didn't know that her comments were being broadcast for the whole world to hear. NBN is the mouthpiece of its owner, Nabih Birri, a pro-Syrian politician and Lebanon's parliament speaker. In a statement distributed to the media, the station said it had fired the pair and apologized for what it called, quote, an unintentional mistake, stressing that the comments made do not represent the station in any way. In Lebanon, the leading anti-Syrian newspaper, An nahar exposed the incident without naming the station or the anchor. The exchange was picked up by local and regional media, and it made its way to YouTube and drew much outrage. Fatfat, who the anchor suggested would be next in line for assassination, told Al Arabiya that he was very concerned for his life and hired an attorney as he was prepared to sue the station for comments he considered a direct threat. On Al Arabiya, the entire exchange played in every newscast, followed by interviews with officials representing and defending NBN and saying that firing the anchor should be enough to quiet the voices of dissent. The anchor woman was not available for comment. At a time where Lebanon is going through some of its worst violence since the end of its civil war, a slip of a tongue cost an anchor her job, but has the potential of costing a fragile country a lot more. Octavia Nasser, CNN, Atlanta.